We're starting a new series here on Bloomberg West. We have partnered with Planet Forward, a program that brings experts and leaders together to create innovative projects in the areas of energy and sustainability. Today's energy innovator is Verdant Energy. The company has started a project in New York City's East River to begin harnessing energy from the rise and fall of the ocean's tide. As Project Forward's Frank Sesno explains, Verdant Energy's project is just the beginning of what could be a very big industry. This little box on the shore of New York City's East River is the home of a surprising source of energy, underwater turbines using river current to generate electric current. Verdant Power is the company's name, and they posted a video to Planet Forward. They actually believe their innovation can change the planet. This control room is where we deployed and delivered electricity from a new form of electricity called kinetic hydropower, which is like windmills underwater. Dean Watmore runs the control room. He says the project's big plus is it's predictable. We can predict within a very high degree of action how much power we're going to be producing tomorrow, three weeks from now, ten years from now, a hundred years out, by simply looking at tidal charts. What separates these underwater turbines from the wind turbines that are so unpredictable? As the tide flows, then it just turns around to get it in the opposite so direction. The water yeah. drives the direction of the rotor, so it's constantly turning. That's right. As though it were a, a, a weather vane on top of a barn. That same idea. Sounds Weather vane on top of a barn under the water. <laughs> under the water. <laughs> so far, the concept seems to be on a fast track. It's the first to receive federal approval to produce commercial electricity from wave power. And environmentalists like its carbon free electricity, small footprint, and the way it treats aquatic life. It's on the bottom of the river, right? Yes. What about innocent little fishies that are swimming through. Do they get turned into tuna fish or what happens? No, not at all. We found they just avoid the rotors beautifully. They just swim around. So them. there are no fatalities as a result of this? No. None? None. For the past three years, the pilot project has powered a nearby parking garage and this supermarket. So the question, can this scale up? Verdant is now putting in a new generation of turbines, a sort of wind farm underwater to produce enough energy, they say, for a thousand homes nearby. But some perspective is important here. The natural gas power plant just across the river provides a quarter of the electricity for the entire Big Apple. Planet Forward likes to check with an expert. So we headed to the Department of Energy. Does this technology work? Yeah, yeah, it works. Um, you know, if you'd asked me that question 10 or 15 years ago, it probably would have been a different answer. Um, but we're getting to the point now where we've had um, single devices that have been demonstrated all over the world for years in some cases. We're starting to see the first generation of uh, small commercial deployments deployed. Um, and particularly in Europe, you're actually seeing larger commercial deployments planned and being leased right now. The folks at Verdant say the cost of their electricity is on a par with wind energy. But they've got a long way to go if they're going to compete with that natural gas across the river. Gas-fired plants are probably a little bit less. A little bit less? Yeah, so they're probably maybe uh, 500, but maybe a million dollars a megawatt, 500,000 to a million dollars a megawatt. Yeah, so maybe gas. half the price. About half the price. But the cost for power for gas, gas is using a finite resource, just like coal is a finite resource. Eventually we're going to run out. Water is always there and flowing, so there's no cost for the fuel. So in time, our cost will even come down further as we begin to build more of these. And so I think we're cost competitive now. Verdant's East River project should be ready to produce commercial electricity, lighting homes and supermarkets early next year. Their idea to move the planet forward.